Hey guys, I want to talk about how stress will shrink your brain. You have three main areas to your brain. You have a prefrontal cortex, you have a limbic system, and then you have a reptilian brain in the back. The prefrontal cortex is where your higher intellectual functions happen. In the middle part of your brain, the limbic center, limbic system, is where emotional kinds of reactions occur. And then in the back, you have your reptilian brain that's associated with survival. Here's the key point. When you're activating the reptilian brain, that energy is coming from the prefrontal cortex and you're not going to make good decisions. When it happens over the course of a long period of time, eventually the area in the front will begin to shrink and shrivel up. Thus, the article in Science Daily, how stress and depression can shrink the brain. Scientists have found a genetic correlate to this shrinkage factor. Now, I don't really like focusing on the genetics because it implies that these things are fixed. They're not fixed. I like focusing on the ways that we can modify this neuroplasticity, this neuroplastic nature that the brain seems to have. So the more you're thinking fear thoughts, the more you're thinking survival thoughts, the more you're thinking that your survival's threatened, the more stress you're under, the more you're going to shift energy into the back of the brain, into the so-called reptilian brain, and brain volume will ultimately shrink. The more you're thinking higher thoughts, beautiful thoughts, loving thoughts, rational thoughts, the more you're activating the higher brain centers, the limbic system, as well as the prefrontal cortex, and the more you'll have, uh, the more uh, energy will be directed to that area, the more blood supply, the more nerves, and the better functioning that area will be, and that's what you're looking for. You want that prefrontal cortex area to be functioning fully and maximally, and you want the reptilian brain maybe operating in the background, but certainly not taking um, the, the lion's share of the brain's energy. That's all we got time for today. That's been a bright bite. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll talk to you all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.